Hi, I'm Quentin Schultz, a professor of communication and also author of the book, Communicate Like a True Leader. Communicate Like a True Leader. I want to open up with a story of something that happened to me fairly early in my career where I was doing consulting for an advertising agency. The advertising agency had a huge campaign going on in the state that I was living in at that time, and they asked me to do an evaluation of the impact of the campaign by conducting a bunch of focus groups. I love focus groups, by the way, as a way of listening to what's really happening with communication and um, have designed ways of doing focus groups that work well. So they are enjoyable for me to do. And I never thought of them as work. They're so interesting to find out what people think about the messaging of organizations. It's, it's often different from what the organization thinks. And boy, was that true in this case. I did these focus groups, and the deeper I went into these and the more the focus groups I did, the more I found out that this big statewide advertising campaign through multiple media was a disaster. People hated the campaign. They hated the messaging in the campaign. They, they thought more negatively than they used to about the company doing the advertising as a result of the campaign, the campaign, I thought, holy smokes, this is so bad. I'd never seen negative results from any kind of communication audit that I'd ever done as I saw with this. And then I thought to myself, what do I do? What do I do with these results? Ooh, should I be honest and tell the advertising agency what was going on here? Oh, I thought I had to. For the sake of integrity, this was the truth, and I had to live with integrity, live with myself, conveying the truth, I said, I'm going to do it. And I put this in a report. I had plenty of quotes from the focus group. Back then, I had audio recordings. We didn't as easily then do video recordings of focus groups. And I gave all this material to the ad agency, and I kind of cleaned my hands. I knew I'd done a good job for them. I was happy to accept their compensation for me. Whew, but boy, did I worry about it. I thought, this is bad, bad, bad. I thought, they're going to pull these ads so fast, and it was a waste of money. The ads kept going and going and going. Weeks later, months later, it may have even been a year later, the same kinds of ads with the same messages were going. And I thought, what is this all about? Why did they even hire me to do this, to give them honest feedback? And I happened to be at a social event where the client, uh, the, that is the one that had hired the advertising agency, was there. It was a, I, the president or CEO of that company happened to be at the same social event. And, you know, you're standing around, you're talking to different people. And I met this person and I, and I said, uh, he, he asked me what I did. I said, I'm a communication professor at this university here. Oh, yeah. He said, that's great. He said, we, we do a lot with communication. We have a big ad campaign, and it's, it's, really, it's really something. He said, I said, really, how's the impact of that campaign? He said, oh, it couldn't be greater. He said, our agency is doing ongoing research, and they tell us that it's among the most effective advertising campaigns that has ever been conducted for us. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just took that information, packed it away, never did anything with it. It was not my job at that point to say to him, hey, I think you're being snookered. But boy, they were being snookered. What am I getting at here? I'm getting at what in the book, my book, Communicate Like a True Leader, I call integrity. That agency its leadership, or at least the person who represented, represented that agency to the client, did not have integrity. And what we find in so much human communication and so much leadership is a lack of integrity. What people are saying, what people are doing, is not in tune with what they really believe. A lack of integrity. It's all over the place. And it, it infects every organization at one level or another. And so the question I have for you as a leader is, do you live with integrity? Is there a close relationship between what you communicate, 
through any medium to other people and what you truly believe and what you know and what you value. Integrity. I call this chapter in my book Forming Integrity. And as with all of the chapters in my book, I start out with a quote from Robert Greenleaf, who founded the field of servant leadership and greatly influenced me in my views of leadership and communication. And this is what he says. He says, the person who says, now I am being ethical, should be regarded with suspicion. (laughs) The person who says, now I am being ethical, should be regarded with suspicion. You know why, right? Because when we suddenly say, now truthfully, if we say to somebody else truthfully, does that mean we're not always truthful? What's going on here? One time I had to go for training because I was going to be an expert witness on a big case that that could have gone up to the U.S. Supreme Court. I, man, this was a, a difficult time in my life because I know nothing about the court system. I had never been an expert witness or whatever, but they sent me for training. I said, I don't need training. I know how to communicate. I know the subject matter. Just put me down in front of people for the deposition or whatever and let me talk. And they said, oh, no, you don't understand enough about what happens in the court system. Uh, You can think that you're going to go in there with integrity and you'll instantly lose the impression of integrity. Now, what in the world? So I went for this training, and they put me into a mock courtroom. And uh, there I was with attorney uh, representing each side, and, and I could tell they were probably video recording it because there was some glass there, but it was a whole courtroom. And uh, the uh, attorney started asking me questions. And it took five minutes maybe before that attorney had me wrapped up in all kinds of disagreements over what I had said and how that didn't match what I had said a couple minutes earlier and this and that. It was a mess, absolute mess. And I thought I knew what I was doing. But you see, an attorney like that is really good at making an expert witness look like a fool because there is not consistency in their testimony. I learned that the hard way. Now, that's not life in general. I'm using that as a story, as a metaphor for what we all get into. Because as soon as someone perceives that we as a leader lack integrity, we've said one thing here and another thing there, or our organization's mission statement says this, yet we said this or we act this way. As soon as there is that kind of break, our integrity begins to evaporate, disappear, and then we're in trouble. People don't believe us. They don't think we are speaking true. This is why I, in part, why I titled my book Communicate Like a True Leader, true in the two senses of the word, to be true to others and to speak the truth. And so when somebody says, now I'm being ethical, Or when we say to ourselves, well, now I'm going into this meeting, I'm going to tell the truth, but I haven't been. We've got a problem. Form your integrity. If you want to be a true servant leader, an effective leader, if you want your communication to have positive impact, then be someone who communicates with integrity. Now, when I present this out in my speaker or in consulting, people will say to me, well, sometimes I have to bend the truth because the situation demands it. And my immediate response to that is, well, you don't always have to speak up, right? There are times when we can simply not speak or we can just say, let me think about that. Let me prepare my remarks or comments. I'm not sure immediately how to respond to that. So we can rethink how to speak with integrity. Integrity is so important. As a leader, speak with integrity. If you're interested in my book, I'll put a link down below. You can grab a copy on Amazon. It's inexpensive. It's called Communicate Like a True Leader. Thank you so much. Please leave some comments too. Tell me if this is helpful, what I'm doing in these videos 
so I should continue doing them or not. I appreciate your feedback. Thanks so much.